According to the 2020 Counterman Parts Survey, nearly 50% of auto parts stores responding to the survey said they carry three or more brake friction brands in their stores. Giving your customers plenty of options is a good thing, but when it comes to replacement brake pads, how do you help your customers narrow things down to a product that's right for them? For any counter pro, the key is asking the right questions and trying to get a feel for what's most important to the customer. For example, if they're looking for a brake pad with the longest possible service life, a premium ceramic pad such as this one is going to be their best bet. In this particular example, Bosch makes it easier to state your case with third-party test results showing that its quiet cast disc brake pads exhibit significantly better pad life and rotor wear compared to some competing brands. According to the company, these pads are made with a chemical formula that forms a protective layer on the rotor and pad to reduce wear and extend the life of both the pad and the rotor. What about quiet operation? Semi-metallic brake pads offer improved stopping power over stock OE pads, but they tend to be noisy, which some customers won't like, especially for everyday driven vehicles. Again, ceramic brake pads are going to be the better option if minimizing noise is important to your customer. Thanks to the OE-style rubber core multi-layer shim, these pads achieve the best possible result in noise testing conducted by Link Engineering. So how about environmental impact? That might not be the first thing that comes to mind when you're replacing a set of brake pads, but a number of surveys show that consumers increasingly prefer sustainable brands. A March 2021 survey by the environmental technology company Greenprint found that 64% of Americans are willing to pay more for sustainable products, but nearly 74% don't know how to identify them. You might want to explain to your customers that there's an industry-wide initiative in place to reduce the amount of copper and other heavy metals in brake pads and shoes to minimize the potentially harmful debris that's released into the environment when braking. And it's easy to tell if a brake pad complies with these voluntary standards, which call for brake friction materials to contain no more than 0.5% copper by weight by 2025 along with reduction of asbestiform fibers, lead, mercury, and other metals. The leaf mark symbol on the product information label indicates the level of compliance with the various standards that we just mentioned. Three shaded leaves, like you can see on this box of quiet cast brake pads, indicates that the pad meets all the industry standards for asbestos, cadmium, chromium, lead, and mercury, and contains no more than 0.5% copper. Bosch notes that its brake pads have been copper free since 2015. There's a lot to consider when choosing a replacement brake pad. If long life, quiet operation, and environmental impact are in your customer's radar, a premium ceramic pad such as this one could be a great fit. I'm Josh Cable. Thanks for watching.